Hi there. Yes, this flooded back in October during that atmospheric river. Here we go again. I know you don't see it now and that's because it has receded and you're going to see it in a couple of seconds. But look at this mess it left behind. It also left behind a lot of frustration. Walking down Landing Lane in Millbrae this morning was a shock to residents where the street and the sidewalk weren't even visible and car doors couldn't be opened because of all the water. The street has flooded before. They thought they were prepared, but say it's never flooded like this. Sandbags didn't help. They went right over the sandbags. Here's what it looked like at its peak just after 7 o'clock this morning. By 8 o'clock, it had started receding, and residents were able to start assessing the damage. It was approximately 6 to 8 inches up. From here to here, there, there's your uh, all your water line. The water invaded garages and a mother-in-law unit with a mother-in-law living inside. She's in the house now, her and her cat, three inches of water inside. And uh, the, the, I think the toilet even backed up. I've been here 30 years. It's never gone into my garage. Last time we had seven inches. This time we probably had about nine. Residents say they are frustrated that this keeps happening and that they can't seem to get help. They say the city of Millbrae tells them they can't do anything, that this is an issue with an airport pump. The city's hands are tied by, you know, the airport. You know, we're dealing with two separate entities. And, and you're caught in the middle. Yeah. I'm told a bunch of different stories, so I don't know. I don't know what to think. So, but it's just, it seems to be uh, getting worse. This is the worst year. So I've reached out to Millbrae Public Works. I have not heard back yet. I did reach out to the spokesperson at the airport. He got back to me. He said he's going to look into this, look for some answers, and he'll circle back with me. Meanwhile, these residents are not only busy cleaning up, but they're bracing for more rain. So you see the sandbags that are here. One man who told me he thought this would be enough. Now, you know, he's going to see if maybe a level of three or four sandbags will be enough to get through this weekend. Live in Millbrae, Amy Holyfield, ABC 7 News.